Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another video. Uh, this one here, um, this is going to be my first HGA submission, which is hybrid grading approach. Um, the new folks in town, the last, what, six, four months or so. Um, I actually been trying to get, you know, the random pick to, to be able to get cards for their open slots for the past few weeks. Been striking out all the time. And then on um, the 18th of March, I was actually number 16 when the randomizer went through its stuff. So I was like the first one in the door, which was cool. So um, I had my order waiting and, and ready to go. And um, <clears throat> these are just going to be my own PC cards for the most part. Um, more um, ultra modern stuff in here. So I have some like NBA hoops premium stock. And then also just some, I wanted to get some colorful cards to send in just to, you know, the, the labels match the card type of thing. You can choose that or you can match the team or whatever you want to do for colors on your or neutral um, for your label. And um, so I picked these cards out uh, mainly just because of the color, um, the PC part of it. I want to keep these in my collection. I'm not going to, most likely not going to sell them unless, you know, I get a perfect grade on something and, and I have others that, that I can send in later. But so here we go. Uh, first one is 1990 Fleer, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, Soaring Stars. So this is his second year card. Um, this is the best one I have. It's got a little corner issue up here. It's not too bad though. Um, really like the looks of this thing. The back looks really good. You know, there's some white spots on the edges, but nothing that really sticks out too much. So I'm thinking this one gets a, somewhere around a nine for a grade. Um, we'll see what happens there. Um, for HGA, I just did the 60 day, so it was 20 bucks a card. I didn't feel like paying extra for another four weeks earlier because I don't really plan on selling these. So I just went with the longest, um, timeline there for the 20 bucks. Uh, this one here is Giannis Antetokounmpo's, um, Marvel's card from Donruss in 2019. And, um... Again, sending this off just because it's so colorful, comic type of aspect to it. I want to see what those labels look like. It's a pretty sick looking card. Um, the overall grade on it, it's got a little white little corner. But other than that, it looks pretty good. There might be a little spot up here, but um, for the most part, it might have a little, little tiny spot there in the corner, but otherwise it looks really great to the, to the naked eye, that's for sure. But again, it's a PC card, so um, I just wanted to get it off and uh, get it slabbed up. Take a look at this. Uh, next one here is LeBron's NBA Hoops 2015, so the Chalk Toss card. Um, I think this one gets a 9.5 for sure. Um, I don't know if, if it's a 10 candidate or not. I mean, it looks perfect in my opinion, but we will see what happens at HGA. Uh, next one is Christian Wood. So this is um, a gold shimmer from the T-Mall um, release boxes. And this one here is two out of eight. The edges and corners and everything look perfect. The only thing that I see wrong with this are some of those really faint manufacturing lines that go across um, the card on the back. Uh, the face looks really good. You know, there is a little line there like where this shimmer pattern might have stopped and started over. Um, but I don't know if there's any way to get around those or not. So there's another one here and there's one that goes across that way. So. But again, this is um, you know, a PC card that I plan on keeping for a while. It's a two out of eight. So really, really looking forward to see how this, this label looks on this card with this gold shimmer because this card is just sick. 
And then the last one is another Christian wood, but this one here is like the uh, the pink wave or pink flash, pink flash. And again, everything looks perfect on it. The edges, the corners, um, the surface on the face looks really, really good. Um, the only thing, I think it had some of those those lines going across it as well on the back. And this one's numbered number two out of 25. So I'm thinking this one's a nine or a 9.5. That's kind of what I think is going to happen with this one too. Um, I know that they have AI grading these things for the most part. I think there's a human eye at the end that looks at them, but I'm really interesting to see what happens with, um, you know, some of these manufacturing lines in here that I think are unavoidable. So I, I you know, there's no way around it. They shouldn't be downgraded because of it. So we'll see what happens. So, yep. Uh, five card. That's what their limit is right now. Just because they want as many people to, uh, be able to get some cards in anyways to get graded so these are the five that i picked for this round and um hopefully i can get another submission in, into them at some point soon i'm gonna try again tonight see if i can get five more cards in and the ones i have for those are going to be the the nba hoops 2020 21 slam hollows that i pulled out of packs here recently so hope you guys enjoyed the video um if you have any uh, questions, please let me know. Also, please subscribe if you haven't, but appreciate that. Hit the like button, give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications for new videos when they come out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Later.